out on IG. Uh, IG. So next week there will be another show, another topic, and I'll be looking for people that's on the app that could help us and learn more about people. So I'm going to request a few people to come in the box, but I want you to stay tuned towards the end because I've got someone special coming in at the end of the show. So I would like you to stay tuned uh, and watch the show and learn. It's like broaden your knowledge on the app about people. It's good to know about people's culture. It's good to know when you visit the country that you are visiting, what's the things to do and things that not to do. Hello everyone that's joined the stream on what's today again. We're learning about culture and diversity. And if you wanna be a part of the show, please make sure you favorite me favorite me on IG. If you like the show, hit me a favorite, hit me a favorite. And if you want to be a part of it, please look out, please look out. So I've got my first guest coming in and that is Miss Lupus. Miss Lupus, can you request the box? Hi, good morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you, Miss Lupus? Miss Lupus, where are you from? I am from Hawaii. Oh, she's from Hawaii. So, are you going to tell us Thank about you. more about uh, Hawaii? Yes. So, I am. I was born and raised in Hawaii, but I am actually Tongan, Hawaiian, and Filipino, um, which are like mostly Pacific Island um, cultures. But I'm mostly going to be speaking on Hawaii today. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to start with a, what we call a ho'olauna. Um, and that is basically an introduction of yourself. Um, and I'm going to say, Lina, Olupe ko'ui noa, wahanao ia au ma honolulu, tenoho ne au ma hawaii, aloha mai kako. Um, and in Hawaii, like your introduction is really important because it's going to tell people um, who you are, first of all. So I said my name and then uh, where I was born in Honolulu and I was raised here in Hawaii. Um, and then also greetings and salutations to everybody. Um, yeah. Thank you for um, providing this uh, show on this platform where we can come and share our culture and, um, and you know, the things that we that we hold dear to ourselves on here. I think this is an amazing show. It's an amazing um, opportunity and I'm here for it. So thank, thank you. you. So what is there any foods that you eat which are like custom, like you, you cook uh, regular? Yeah, so um, as far as the Hawaiian culture, um, they're like, Okay, so in like a traditional Hawaiian plate, what would normally be on there is um, poi, which is like cassava, like a, a root. And we like pound that up with like a stone pohaku and we just like mash that up. And that's like our starch. And then there's um, lau lau, which is like made with the same plant, the taro with the leaves. And you wrap it, um, you put some pork inside of it and Hawaiian salt, which is just like sea salt. And um, sometimes you put like a piece of butterfish in there and it, that gets cooked um, traditionally in an underground like oven. Um, but most people will steam it now. Um, and I then. Have rice as well. You do. Have oh, rice? <laughs> Is that, is, that, is that true? Rice is like a staple in Hawaii now. Um, traditionally, rice was not a thing, but nowadays in Hawaii, um, I guess because there's such a huge like Asian influence, but okay. sugar is, uh, not sugar, rice is eaten with every single meal. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> it's so popular that McDonald's sells rice here. Like, wow. You can so go you to McDonald's. McDonald's selling rice there. Yeah, so you, you can go to McDonald's and get Hawaii, it. I will find rice in McDonald's. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. So it beats like chips. It beats chips. Yeah, you can go and get a platter with rice. 
of scrambled eggs and spam or Portuguese sausage or like that sausage that they do sell and they sell that over there. Oh wow, that's excellent. Uh, also, uh, uh, so when do you have your main holidays? Like what days do you celebrate? Like uh, you celebrate which are important? Like the <coughs> Well, um, so we do have some state holidays. Uh, a huge state holiday would be um, Kamehameha Day. Um, and that is when we celebrate the king of, of Hawaii. Well, he wasn't the first king, but he was the king that united all the islands because the, all the different islands used to be ruled by different monarchies. Um, okay. But he went and like conquered them all and, and united us into like one culture, one, one country. So what do you do on that celebration? Um, so there's usually a parade, uh, and so all the different islands are represented in that parade um, by their flower, because every island has a flower. They have a color, and they have um, a, like a prince and a princess that'll like ride in the parade because they ride horses, and they'll ride in the parade and represent the islands that they're from. So it's like all the islands coming together. So, so they'll become, so there's different flowers in different, uh, like, for, so. Yeah, all they're known. And they all to get, get together. They all yeah. get together. And what do they do in the parade? Is it like songs or do they dress up in a certain way? Uh, yeah. Like different islands or. So um, they're all dressed according to, so they'll usually have that flower largely represented. So they'll have like, I don't know if you know what lays are. Lays are like flower garlands that we use to like um, greet people or like, you know, any kind of congratulations. I love them. I've seen that them. Or welcoming. Them. Yeah. You've actually seen me wear like a lay. Yes, I have. Now. I have. Yeah. So those are all, um, traditional to Hawaii but they'll have only their flowers on it so like one island will be represented by um you know like pikake or something um big island is represented by the ohia lehua because that flower will usually grow on volcanic rocks and so <clears throat> that's why they'll have it flower on the vo volcanic rock i didn't yeah. know that <laughs> that's something yeah. I, definitely i learned that that's amazing that you know what i'm shocked like and what days do you know uh, like what days of the year will i see that so if i want to come and uh, like be a part of it can, can i be a part of it and come and watch um so it's just one day in the year um let me actually look it up but That's it's usually okay. it's an actual state holiday so it's like in June, June 10th, June 11th was this year. Yeah. That, that, you know what, I'm, a, I'm, I'm absolutely like shocked, like, cause I, I didn't know what you were saying. Like some of the things, what you've just said, I didn't know. Uh, I, I was like, okay, she's gonna tell me things. And what I see on TV is totally different. Yeah. Oh, and definitely. Nice to know. So, if you want to know more about Hawaii and you want to get to know Miss Lupus, please make sure you hit her favorite. She's a cool streamer. She's a positive person that I've known for a while on this app, and and it's nice to learn about culture and diversity. And we we've got this. We are so lucky to experience this on the app. Uh, Meet Me has provided us. It's a bit like having pen friends, but having interaction and get you to know. So if I came there, would you come and visit me? <laughs> would you come and visit me? I thought you were staying with me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, Why, definitely no, because I, I, I see you on the TV and I watch like, you watch things about Hawaii, but it's sometimes it's nice firsthand experience, experiencing and learning about the culture. Um, is there any uh, particular colors you wear or there, uh, that you should stay away from or do things? Uh, if I came to your home, what's the things that I should not do? So um, basically, I think it's, um, 
I think that everyone should come to Hawaii at least once in their life to experience it, to to see the scenery, basically. But um, there are definitely protocols that you would take when you come here. Um, one, I would say just be respectful to everyone. Like most people will say, like, be respectful to, like, you know, um, the local people, but it's really everyone. If you come here and you're respectful, then you will be fine and you will make a lot of friends when you come here. Another thing is that um, when we when we enter someone's house, I know like across the mainland and stuff, it's uh, a lot of people will just like walk in with their shoes on. In Hawaii, that's very rude. You take your shoes off before you enter anyone's house. Remember that if you invite <laughs> someone's home, take your shoes off. <laughs> Take, Take your shoes, shoes off. off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand that. That's respect. That is yes. no, because it's very important, and it's good. Oh, to that's know. important uh, too. It's good to know these things, and if we don't know, someone, will, someone like me, I'll be going. I'm walking my, in my lip flops. My friend is saying don't take rocks home because a lot of people will visit Hawaii and they'll go to the beaches and um, a lot of them will see like rocks or stones or sand that they'll want to take home with them. And it's really, um, so the thing about Hawaii is it's very sacred land and it's really disrespectful to move a piece of like, even if it's just a rock, you can't move it out of the place that it is because it was placed there for a reason. And a lot of people will just like, ignore that warning and then take the rocks home um so people that work in like the hotel the travel industry they know this to be a fact a lot of people will mail their rocks back that they took home with them because they'll okay. realize that a lot of bad things will start happening to them because they took they took the rocks or whatever they took with them, home with them. so please make sure when you're in hawaii please do not pick up any rocks and do not take them is, is it's a sign of disrespect and we need to be respectful no matter what country we visit and you know what miss livers thank you i really appreciate that you come in i'm going to let you you're going to be coming back later on because there is something special that's going to be happening i'm going to ask someone called Ma to oh, request the box is she still here is she here bye all bye Where's she gone? <laughs> Maz? She's requesting it. I always say your name. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Oh, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from the Philippines. Hello, Hello everyone. Hi. So, yeah, hi. good morning, baby. Morning. So, everyone, Ooh. shout out. And yeah, I'm from the Philippines, the beautiful Philippines. Ah, so shout out to everyone else there. I know everybody knows Philippines. I guess everybody have a friend in Philippines and you might not know our culture. So we're gonna talk about that. Okay. So Philippines, as you know, it has, it's very, culture is different. We, we were colonized by many uh, country, as you all know. So our culture uh, derived from those countries. So one of that, uh, we will talk about our, uh, maybe our language. So we have different, uh, we have a national language we call uh, Tagalog. So when you when you come to Philippines, you usually hear like, uh, uh, kumusta ka? Like those uh, greetings or um, saan ka galing? We always say ko or upo so, to, uh, as a sign of respect. So, um, so when you say kumusta ka, uh, saan ka galing? Those are how are you? Or kinagagala uh, kitang makilala or you say uh, I, I'm, yeah, you should guys learn those uh, uh, phrase, phrase. You say, kitang makilala. So you say, I'm glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Can you say that slowly? Okay. Take this down, people. 
Kitang Ma. Okay, to say, ikinagagala kitang makilala. Okay. So anyway, everybody in the Philippines speak English. Or no, not the the native ones doesn't uh, understand or nor uh, speak fluent english but we do understand english so uh first of all that one so and we're gonna talk about our food so everyone i know the the, the foreign friends i know well i i kind of introduce them the balut if everybody knows but what balut is type one and if you don't know what is balut it's Balot is a uh, authentic word, uh, authentic food in the Philippines, and we are usually. Uh, this is a uh, an embryo, uh, duck embryo, in an egg. It's an egg. It's an egg that's. Uh, there's a chick in there. There's a chick in there, and you're gonna it uh, gonna boil it, and you're gonna eat it. What with the chick inside it? Yeah, the hairy chick inside. Yes, it's. So you boil the chick. I didn't know that. Is it a delicacy? A delicacy. Yes. Oh. No, it's a. Okay. Uh, it's a must have. Uh, no. People or foreign people don't usually they say it's gross. Because it has chick and 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 that so. And of course, you know, adobo. Adobo goes with rice all the time. Yeah. So, so that's it. Uh, what else? What else are we gonna be? Would you have that like once a day, or would you have that like regular basis or special occasions? Uh, balut is just uh like you can find it in on uh, it's called a street food. In okay. Philippines, when okay. yeah, so I'm sorry. So it's widely so it's If I went there, in, yeah, in, if in, if in, you can go there, any street in the Philippines has has it. Okay. okay. No, but no, no, I have got respect for them because you know that every country has their own delicacy. So it's it's important to understand what it is and to have that respect for one another. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's important, important, important to your culture as well. I'm thankful. I'm, that was something that I learned. Today. Yeah. Well, thank you for being, for having me, like, you know, I'd share our culture. Is there any special festive days that you celebrate? Yeah, we have, Philippines has many festivals, actually. And uh, if you know Cebu City, uh that is one city in philippines where uh most uh foreigners go uh one of it is uh cebu city so cebu city has a sinolog festival it's uh it's a festival procession of a miraculous image because like i said we were uh colonized by uh spaniards so they are they have this uh like uh we call it Santo Nino. It's an M, a small image, and it's a uh, we having a parade uh, doing that, and it happens uh, sometimes around January okay. Uh, okay. of each year. And uh, one of the festival also is the Mascara Festival that happens in Bacolod City, one of the big city in uh, Philippines. What's so, Mas Bacolod City. Okay. And what, yes. And what do you do yeah, the and, and and the festivals is is all about a parade. Uh, people are wearing mascara on their faces oh. and all this oh. stuff. Yeah, and the and the very fancy uh, clothes and all that. And you, uh, mascara festival happen sometimes around um, October of okay. each year, okay. I guess. 
so yeah so if you if you want to visit philippines you might uh, go in those months so get you have them, get all of that, get yeah so you have <laughs> yes so and i actually wanted to wear one of our national costume but i get big it can't fit me so i'm gonna show you what it looks like okay. so it's like okay. it's it is we call it Filipiniana. Oh, so, wow. oh wow. Wow. So you got flowers there. Yeah. Flowers. Yes, yes, yes. But I wanted to wear that one, but it can't fit me because it get big. So sorry. That's all very right. sorry. That's all right. um, you know what? It is, does it come in any does other in colors or is it just the how you see it? It, it, just, it comes in different no, color it doesn't have to be that color uh it comes in different color yeah and so we talk about what you don't have to no the dose the the the, the things you cannot do in philippines okay um we say of okay. course if you want to come in our home let's it's almost it's given to everyone to pay uh respect to the elders or but in filipino uh home you always say it doesn't have to be um uh, we don't care about you uh bringing your uh slipper or shoes inside we usually okay. like what okay. oh don't don't take off but your you shoes it's okay yeah yeah uh, it's uh, yeah yeah we don't uh, it doesn't matter we we all uh, we're particular with you being respectful like uh don't insult our elders our country that's given to every place you, you want to go and don't come on time people filipino have filipino time so when you're invited to a party when we say the party is one o'clock don't come on time because usually the party starts 15 minutes late to an hour long late oh, so we call oh, it filipino oh, time oh, <laughs> so you come yeah in, uh, so if you say if you say uh, come at one o'clock i should come around uh, 1 30 is okay 1 30 1 30 one thirty. One thirty. When you when, when. So if so if, if you go to a Filipino uh, house <laughs> and someone invites you for dinner, you be late. You be late. Yeah, because usually Filipino has a Filipino time. Okay, you bring that if you want. So late. Yeah. Late not, not, you don't get in trouble for being late. So yeah, <laughs> because usually the the uh, the family is still preparing by then. When they say, "Oh, we have dinner at seven, they usually is preparing the 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 food, the table at seven. So you might as well want to be fifteen minutes late, you know. So that's it. Uh, what else? Uh, so, and of course, if you want to go to Philippines, research or any place you want to go research the country you want to visit because in philippines we have this called sulu archipelago, archipelago which um uh, terrorism and terrorism and crimes are happening that that certain place in the philippines so i i'm not trying to scare oh, everyone oh, yes certain, you, certain places you have to check with your holiday before you travel and get to know someone uh, if you know some school, please make sure you care about 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 we have to be safe. So you know what? Yes. I want you to understand that. And thank you for that advice. And you know, thank you for visiting me. And that's thank you. That's what the Philippines. Thank you. Good day, everyone.
guys, this is amazing. Like we heard about Hawaii, we heard about the Philippines. Now, guys, I need you to stay tuned right to the end of the show. Today, I'm doing a featured show. I'm going on my uh, journey to a featured show. Now, for that journey, I need people to be here at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Eastern time, every Sunday, 6 p.m., please be here. And if you want to be part of the show on a Sunday, please make sure you favorite me on IG and you look at what's going to be the next show. So if you can be, you could help us. And every week is going to be a different topic. So please stay tuned for later on what we're going to, because there's a little surprise for you, for everyone that uh, someone's going to be showing, uh, telling us. And it's going to be a little recap. So we heard about the Philippines. We know about that. Now, this is what culture and diversity is. This is what the platform Meet Me has offered me. Um, before I started, I didn't know much. Yeah. And like coming onto this app opened my vision of different cultures and there's so much to learn in life and and the way to do it is to like have an open mind and have that respect uh sometimes you don't have to agree yeah but you have to have an open mind to and to see what people do and like i heard about the egg that the chicken's still in there People eat it in the Philippines, and 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 that is quite normal. And you see it in street corners. So I've got I've got the next person that's coming in, yeah, that I, and explaining about his culture. Uh, Frankie, request the box. Where's Frankie go? Is he still? <laughs> is Frankie here? Frankie, are you here? Hello, 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 hello. What's going hello. on, lady? Hey, sister. Greetings to you all. How's you? Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you so much. Have you been watching the show? Yeah, I've been here taking notes, 100% doing my job. Thank you, Mark. Where yeah. You Where are you from? Uh, I'm from everywhere in the world. Joke. I'm just joking. Actually, I'm actually a mixed race. Yeah, West Africa mixed with French, but um, I'll base, I'll focus on the West African side of the world. You know, I actually from Nigeria. My mom is from Nigeria as well, and um, my dad is from France. But part of me growing up was from. I spent most of my life in Africa. So let's talk a little bit about Nigeria. They got different languages, and um, but the three major languages over there are, they got the Igbos, they have the Yorubas, and they have the Aosas. And among it all, these are the three major languages and every, every different, every part of Nigeria has its own entities and qualities and different cultures as well so in nigeria they call in the Igbo side of nigeria they call the kings igwe they call them igwe the yoruba side of it they call them kbsc you know and the house part of it that's the northern part of nigeria they call them like um they call them um emias you know they are emias that's their names and all so it's nigeria is broad and it gives you the room to try to um vital like you can come into africa and just understand what the world feels like and why africa is meant to be that way it's a free land as well so languages differ and everything about there it's a cool place you want to be whatever you want is there they accept foreigners you can come in there and just appreciate the vibe whatever you want is in there I'm a true blood and I'm a true son of the soil too. Thank you. I was going to ask you, you were in, like, if I came there, where would be the places that you, that you think I should visit? All right. It depends on what you came there for. 
if you came there for culture and tourism, yeah, you would want to go to the eastern part or the, the northern part. It's, a, it's like you just want to just be diverse in everywhere, like learn a little bit about everything. You want to understand what this Igbo side is all about. You switch over to the other side. You want to learn also about like this I'm wearing. It's an African wooden shirt. Yeah, this was made. This was a Nigerian made. You know what everything the, they have. What is the pr print? Is um, this print? like wood. It's like oh. a wooden and stuff like that. Yeah. So fashion, everything is there. If you want to visit Africa, sometimes you have to go to the Igbo land. They have the they have festivals as well. They have cultures, like they have the masquerade days. They celebrate masquerade dance and all. They have where they have the voodoo celebrations and stuff like that. So, so it's a choice what of- What are the years that is th that celebrated? Is there a specific part of the years that- uh, Yeah, uh, yeah, they, they, they celebrate the masquerade days. For, I think um, the masquerade days that's a bit after Easter. That's okay. when they celebrate it. Yeah, a bit after Easter. But when you go to the western, yeah, the uh, eastern part of Nigeria, oh, every state, every part of that, the village areas, they are all doing their cultural dance and oh, doing so there's everything. Oh, so dances there. Oh they yeah, they do. Dances. Okay, so can yeah. I just go there? Like, uh, like, would it be open for me to go to visit? Yes. Yeah. It's open. Do it's you open. have like any delicacies that on food that you oh eat? yeah oh, oh yeah oh yeah oh, oh yeah I like our food <clears throat> oh yeah amala that's the yoruba amala is the yoruba part of the food made with cassava um no not made with cassava made with yam peelings you know yams right yeah, yeah. yeah the peelings yeah okay. uh, when you peel it out they they kind of like they they grind it to shredded dust, and that's how it was made. That was the form. They have fufu as well. Yeah, you can try fufu. That's actually, made from I've cassava. Tried fufu. Oh, I bet. Tried fufu. I bet yeah, you I actually tried, enjoyed it. He, he, yeah, he mm. made it with some chicken that you have it with chicken. Uh, so I've tried the goose soup. soup. Uh, yeah, we have. Fufu. One of my yeah, friends, we, he actually made me that, him and his wife. So I've tried fufu, and and it's mm. nice. It's really nice, uh, and it's good to try different foods. It's good. To Gary, try. yes, yes, yeah. Gary too. Gina, yes, she's right. You know, it's 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 like I don't know. And when it comes to West Africa, um, when you talk about food, I believe Nigeria have the creativity in terms of food. You know. Nigeria has a creativity in terms of food, just like jollof rice too. It's well known; everybody wants to eat it. You know, they have the um, they have the okra soup as well. That's the okra they call it over I'm here, okra, okra as well. I'm trying yeah. that. Yeah, red I'm stew. Yes, <laughs> jollof is fire. Yeah. So, and and oh, we some people call it lady fingers. Yep, we Africans. If you want to serve an African man make sure you cook the food with lots of chili in it okay yeah the africans the the yeah the africans love chili they need okay. they need to feel the power in it you know it's normal it's it's not if if you give me food without chili i'll leave it for you i will taste it that's no. just it is nature but wait, if it's, i come there would they make it without chili for me yeah it's your it's your choice it's it's your choice yeah those are the meat shaki yes gina yeah it's your choice it's what you actually want you want a bit of spice you want a bit of flavor and you, Facts. Is it depends on how you're feeling on day and you want that mouth watering dish it's very important Facts. so is Facts. there anything that i should not do if i come to africa that i should not do in a home if i come and visit uh, if you come in to visit, it depends, like I said, it depends on the geographical area you're actually going to. Yeah. Depends on everyone. Like some people, if you want to go, like you're going to a, like a family house, you want to go see the elders, most deaf, from a distance, you're taking off your shoes. From a distance, you're, you're, you're lying down on the floor with your head down. 
Yeah, you have to put your head down. From so a distance, to, you're... So when you take yeah, your shoes, you, you have to put your head down. Okay. You are bowing down straight up. Like, you have to call the name. Like, the Yoruba lands will say, Ka be a CEO. Like, that's king. I greet you. The Igbo land will say, Igwe. You have to, like, Igwe. make them feel that honor. Yeah. You know? Igwe. That's... Yeah, that's like king. Yeah, it's it's a hype. It's a <laughs> it's a hype for them. You know, it's a big hype for them. And um, I remember that. Yeah, it's a hype for them. Then when you talk about Afro music, Afro beats is Afro music is actually from I think it started from Nigeria when it comes okay. to entertainment. Yeah, it started from Nigeria as well, and that was the that's the origin. And that's why music and entertainment has been has been growing better today. As it's, it, they are actually good in entertainment. Yeah. Everyone's favorite Frankie, just favorite him. If you want to learn about culture more, and you've got more to, that you want to know, so if you are visiting the place and you want to know more information, please hit him a favorite. He's a cool streamer. I've known Frankie for a very long time on this app. Uh, it's right from the beginning that I started. So, and he's always, he's always been like, he will just say it how it is. And he's very, he, he, he might be a bit abrupt, but you know what? I prefer that. I prefer that. It's just <laughs> it. And, Thank you so and, much. And that's how he is. Yeah, so please make sure you hit me a favorite and go to his stream. But you're going to be coming a bit later. Well, we might I'm still here. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, so no problem. So I'm still taking notes. We've heard about Miss Lucas. We've heard about Hawaii. We've heard about Philippines. We've heard about Africa. Now we're going to hear about someone else now. OK. Don't I'm request down. the box. Thank you. Thank you for coming in, brother. Don't request the box. <laughs> Hi. Where are you from? From the Great Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago. Woo! Big Hello. up to the Caribbean people. Woo <laughs> and that's my flag and my name, the red, okay. white, and black. Okay. So, in have you Trinidad, lived your life there? born grew raised and i've never left trinidad you, you wouldn't think i would live in trinidad trust me it's so it's so I've nice seen, over I've, here. Seen your, I've seen your gardens they're like a paradise he's got a mm. garden like a paradise Coconut so, trees. so so it, how do you how is there's uh do you say like is there certain things that you, you do when you greet we normally like if i'm greeting somebody like my friends i say hey what you seen by you good everything cool that is pure <laughs> trini talk yo what you seen say that, that again say that again joe i need to hear yo. that <laughs> yo Go. what you seen bro what's the plan for later what are you going on to later that is plain <laughs> pure trini talk pure oh, okay. trini talk <laughs> right so so I <laughs> yeah, I'm going up the road. I'm going, I'm going by, the, I'm going by them girl and them. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm sure PA four one six understands. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is pure Trini. I so, met Joe through this app. Now I met Joe through this app, like I met the other, uh, all of the other guests that came here. They're my friends, and Meet Me has offered me this opportunity and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And this is what streaming should be about, learning about the diverse, diverse, diversity on that app and the cultures uh, and having that open mind. It, like there's so much I've learned from Joel and his trees in the garden. Joel, is there a delicacy that you have over there? Normally like, for our culture is based on more East Indian. My my culture is based on more East Indian. So a lot of things we picked up from India. What do you mean India. by that? What do you mean by that? Most our her my heritage came it came from India, back in India. Okay. East Indians. 
right? Okay. So we will have like delicacies, delicacies like sweets, kuruma, we call it kuruma. Um, there's the barfi, um, gula jamun. Those are sweets. Oh, that I don't know gula get. jamun. They yeah. are little round balls yeah. made out of uh, milk, and yep. uh, then they uh, they fried. Then you put them in like a, a water a sweet bowl. sauce. Sweet yeah, sauce. sweet sauce. Yeah, I know what gulab jamun is. Yeah, it's a syrup. A syrup yeah, yeah. I, that's one of my favorites. Burfi as well. I like the coconut burfi. Is it a coconut? Well, in Trinidad, there's a place called Debi. You can get coconut, you can get chocolate, you can get peanut. They make all different types of barfies. So it's not so one, one came, specific so type. If I came to Trinidad, where would you recommend me to go travel? What part? Firstly, actually, it's Trinidad and Tobago. It's two islands make one country. So one island is more tourism, which is Tobago, which is most recommended if you want to go to tourism, like for the beaches and stuff. But in Trinidad, here now, it has something called bacon shark. You have to go Maracas by the beach to get a nice bacon shark. Bacon shark, did you say? Bacon shark, yeah. So it's a shark. Yeah, that they fry and they put it in a beak and you dress it with mayonnaise, hot sauce, <laughs> everything. It tastes so it tastes really good. Yeah, it tastes it tastes really nice. So is there anything that so what's the sauce made out of? The the is the sauce like a barbecue it's sauce? It's normal sauce, normal sauce. No, it's 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 not barbecue and it's a fry, fry fish. Okay. They fry it. So yeah. it's a bacon shark that you have there. That, yeah. that's that's cool i don't yeah. know if i will try it i'll be honest because i'm ready to see food but you see the, you see what pa just said see doubles <laughs> yeah if you have to come to your dad that's the first thing you have to try are doubles um what what is that doubles is two fried it's like two fried root um roti like the chana yes. chickpea chana there's sweet sauce there's Pepper, there's shadowbenis, um thing, there's coconut chutney. Oh, that when sounds you... nice. Is that vegetarian? Yes. It's vegetarian, yes. Okay, you I can, can do get, that. It's, it's like a, it, it's like a street food. You can get it in, at any corner in Trinidad. Any corner, yes, okay. stop you getting that. And it's very cheap to five five TT for one. Oh, but I, I don't know. So what would the so it'll be it'll be better, so but it's lovely. You're saying it's lovely. But if you were talking about nice food, the see Trinidad at KFC. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. As a jump for the airport, as a jump for the plane in the airport, that's the best KFC you can get in the entire world. I guarantee you sure about that. hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. Is there is in KFC is it different inside there? Do you have different no, it's uh, more or less the same, it's more or less the same, now, but it's just that I mean we don't have probably seasoned the chicken maybe slightly different they may be fried different so it, it gives you a different is there taste. any other delicacies that you have that you Man eat maniku maniku what is maniku maniku is a possum what it's called possum it's maniku so it's on, we, we go and hunt it's, it, we go in the bush to hunt them and when we, when we hunt them we come back home and we cook them and eat. Okay. With, but no, with it's, no, it's, no, it's respect. It's respect. No, if yeah. it's native to the land and it's native to your culture and you eat that often, it's something that you brought up with. And and it's no different to someone that's eating chicken or someone eating frog's legs uh, in a different country. So everyone has their own delicacy. So how does the man cool taste like? You could curry stew it, you could stew it, you could curry it. it is it a, a different is it there's a different taste to it? There's a different taste. You must know the different taste in it. All right? Awesome. But awesome. With, with all of that said now, Trinidad, our basic, our main focus in Trinidad is carnival. There's soca music towards carnival. There's a steel pan which is originated in Trinidad and Tobago. Um there's the mud volcanoes that you could go and bathe in, which is very 
the the mud that that they actually build in is very um how to so say? there's mud volcanoes yeah that you bathe bathe in yes the water is bathing. very it's, it's different it's i forget the the actual rules that they put it must have a lot of minerals it must have yeah. a lot of <clears throat> and then there's the um our country uh trust me you will find all different reefs africans chinese people from all over the world in this little caribbean island all okay. over the world that, so, that, that's what i need to know that that so if i was coming there is there a certain town that i should visit more like you said the mm -hmm. carnival so where would be the carnival uh and what is the carnival season because if i'm coming i'm coming for the carnival as well Carnival is around February to March, between February and March. It's, so it's just that, before Lent. So for days? Two days. Two, Two days. days. Okay. Yeah. Carnival Ooh. Monday and Tuesday, right? But you see Christmas. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Christmas is the best. Christmas time, you go in somebody's house and they will offer you sorrel, fruit cake, cake, sponge cake. Oh God. Okay, that's so that's a nice place to go to Christmas. If you want to get um, long as it's not manacle, I'll be fine. I'll be <laughs> fine. I'll be one hundred percent fine. As long as it's not manacle, I'm having. I'll be fine. Yeah, it, it's it's it, um even with the soca music, soca music, we have a lot of artists in Trinidad, which is like Marshall Montano. There's um Rupi, um. Who else again? There's quite there's quite a few a few soccer artists. Um, okay. but the steel pan is our is our national instrument, our national steel anthem. Pan, the steel pan. Okay. Yeah, I'll, the steel I'll, pan. I'll, yeah. That was originated in Trinidad. It was created in Trinidad also. Okay. Uh, uh, um, um, Frank, you were talking about spice, right? We have one of the hottest peppers in the world. In Trinidad, have it's you? Scorpio, it's called scorpion pepper. Then there's one called Congo pepper, and then Congo. there's one called seven pot pepper. Those I are three of the hottest peppers in the entire world. Do you have normally have them? Do you normally say scorpion? I've never no. heard of a scorpion pepper. Now, scorpion pepper, would, Google, it's on Google. If I would try it, it's would on it Google. Me to Amy because I don't eat that much hot food. Yes, it's hotter than ghosts. And ghosts. Go yeah, ghosts. Ghost pepper is a joke. Ghost pepper is a joke compared to scorpion pepper. Scorpion pepper was um they actually bred it in, in, in a place called Moruga. That's way down in Trinidad, deep south of Trinidad. So it, is so, it been around for a very long time? About 10 years, 10 to 15 years plus, yeah. So it was not native, it, it was introduced. Yes. There. So that's what I say. It was actually it was actually created in Trinidad, more or less. So everyone that's a hybrid meals, you would like that. The scorpion pepper. I don't know. I might have to come with like a lot of uh, toilet tissues with me. Uh is there things that I should not do if I do come to Trinidad? Like if I come to your house. No, when you come into our house, it's the most welcoming welcome you can get. Um, the first thing we'll offer is food, something to eat, something to drink. Do I take my shoes off outside? No, come okay. as you are. Come as okay. you are. Um, okay. There's one more thing. We have one of the biggest pitch lakes in the entire world, that little okay. small island. Our island, let me see if I could do something here. If you all can see the dot, the circle there, yeah. that is like Trinidad in, compared to the entire world. Yeah. It's like a dot compared to the entire world. And we have the biggest pitch lakes in the entire world. Wow. And in that pitch lake now, you can go and build like the water. There's parts of it where you can go and build, as you said, with the mineral water. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good for your body. So it helps you, it, it it's purity. It helps yeah. you and it helps you 
detox. Uh, I'm guessing it helps you detox. So th th those are sightseeing. Then we have the the um the bird sanctuary, which is in Karani. Our national birds are the um scarlet ibis and the kukuku. The kukuku you will find that in um Tobago, and the scarlet ibis is in Trinidad. So it's I, like I said, it's two islands separated by waters, made one one country. So it's not just Trinidad only. It's Trinidad and Tobago. Please, everyone, please, everyone, favorite job, go to his stream. He, he's got the maze on his stream. He's showing his island. And that's how I got to know Joe. I got jealous. I saw these trees there that had coconuts. He's got over two to 300 coconut trees in yep. his garden. That's his garden. And, and I was completely, and I've known Joe on this app. Please, please, hit him a favor. Uh, and if you want to know more information about Trinidad, please, please hit him a favor. He is a cool person. I want everyone that can join the stream that uh, re request the box to come, all come in, because I've got something special for everyone. Uh, someone's got something special to do. So everyone request the box oh, that, right, was, let's go. that was here. And, uh, I'm getting everyone in and Zadie's one more person. No, yeah. no, I can't have anyone because uh, yeah. where, where's Marzio? Marzio? Ron, I can't have you right now because we're doing a featured show. Can I, can I show a picture of the doubles so that they, they can see? Everyone else that's not in the featured show, can, you can't come in right now. Uh, so that will be at eight o'clock. Okay. Zadie, do you want to take the take over? Okay, let's go. Go on. Zadie's going to leave you so, with something that... I don't know where's Mazza. Can I, can I show a picture of the double yes, so yes, that yes. you can see? <laughs> Wait, let me try to get it. What's today your game? Do listen, I coming. You gotta try to sit and relax. Talk about the cultures and everybody with it. Miss Lopez, you know you're coming from Hawaiian. You make me feeling better going on vacation. I wanna try to visit Honolulu with it. I love the roses with the flowers in my brain too. Okay, the second Musta from the Philippines. I got a feeling right, let me find a size. The stick Tagalog, you say the Sangalin. Okay, Manila City, everybody coming with it. They say they love the chicken, chicken adobo with it. I got to feel my vibe, you know I find a size. And thank you for the time, big up to the views with it. It was fun to try to be around this in it. We just have to understand that. That's why we're here. People and culture. But we ain't done yet. Let me take you to Africa, state of mind, Nigeria, the other side. West Africans, you know we gotta keep them vibe. We rocking every day and shout out to the king with it. They call the king Eze. Okay, you see that over. I want some what? When you try to cook me a goosey, that's the reason. Put some eba. You know it's made with garries. I gotta keep it. You know we coming when you love it. You want some Samo Vita? Yes, that's my gel of rice. Take it back to the Trinity. You know the time. They're looking cool with some coconut. I love them vibes. I gotta get it. Get it together with them live. You know we swagging. People gotta understand my time. I tell you, when we gotta live together, one nation, one family. When we try to get the mic with it. And good listener, thank you for the time. You know you are the best. You gave us time to try to appreciate Mm. Okay, it wasn't easy. Y'all made it good for us. Check. 
heritage from the India. They love some food. Okay, gula jamu, maybe coconut and tambourine. Maniku, they say they got some chili. You got to put some scorpion pepper in my food, boy. And that's the reading. You know I want to get ghost. That's the toast. Let me try to keep it on the coast. Asoka, soka. You know we go in Vida Loca. I want to get it to Calypso with the state of mind. Trinity. Okay, you know we got infinity. And that's the definition. And when you see the cultures with it, thank you, meet me for the vibe. You gave us time to it. Let the world try to understand the people every day. And anyway, we got to celebrate, stand together. It doesn't matter where you got it from. Let me know. You know we on the troll. Let me go. And good listener, looking very cute over there. I tell you that. One love, one heart. One mic. Big up to everybody for this day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now, if everyone enjoyed the show and they want to be a part of my next show next week, please look out for it on IG. When I'm doing a future show, I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't have anyone in the in the box or in my guest box or comment. Uh, uh, but I'll be watching every single person. Now, everyone that's come in here, to support this feature shop, please make sure you favorite the gifters that are came in today that supported everyone. Please support, please support all of these people, these lovely people on the app, and please make sure you go to this scene. If you want to learn about culture and diversity, this is the way forward. And the, Meet Me has gave this to every single one of us. So I'm going to end this stream, but I'm going to switch my live stream on. So if anyone wants to show, share about their experiences, about their culture at 8 o'clock today, here at uh, 8, 8, uh, 8, 8, 8 p.m. at Eastern Time, please make sure you come back at 8 p.m., which I will be listening to everyone. Because at the moment, we were doing all of the people that were featured in the show. So at 8 p.m., please make sure you're here. I've got to say bye to everyone. Thank you very much. And bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> See you again next week, Sunday, 6 p.m. <laughs> Bye, Joe.